What's up, peoples? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I uh, want to welcome you back for another ramble. I am in sunny Florida right now with the uh, family on un vacacion, a little vacation, un descanso, a little time of rest. Y, uh, Quiero hablar con ustedes un ratito. I want to talk to you guys for just a little while. Con un tema tan importante with a theme that is, well, important. In 50 one years of my existence. I've had a, a number of heartbreaks. <laughs> I uh, have been married for 23 years. I know in a, a video two not too long ago, I may have slipped and said 21 by mistake, but uh, I was wrong then. It's actually 23 years. And uh, 23 years going strong. Yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Before my marriage, I had a toxic relationship or two before my wonderful wife of today and of 23 years and uh, but I want to rewind a little bit backward to uh, well Yeah, it was, let's see, 1989, 90, yeah, no, 19, 1990, 91 era, yes, and uh, I fell in love, was swept off my feet by this beautiful woman young lady at the time and uh, we decided to make preparations for prom I uh, well went out coordinated her clothing and the suit I was going to wear the uh, dress that she would wear we made plans to how we were going to get there the limousine we would end up using and I was really really looking forward to this uh, this prom but just a week or two before the prom heart was broken. Yes, it was. You see, old girl, she uh, she came with some sob story. Now, let me tell you a little, little back story. Her, her uh, parents had adopted her. She was Korean. And her parents were Caucasian. And um, she was adopted. 
and there was always friction because, well, I'm neither Korean nor Caucasian, if you can't tell. And so there was always a little bit of friction, and the parents, well, were pushing her away from My suspicion is that, uh, that pressure continued to mount so much. And uh, she had to make that decision. Or the decision was made for her. Nevertheless, my heart was broken Probably more so because I never even got an answer as to why. Everything was going well. Everything was going strong as far as I knew. Plans and preparations for the future. And, but we were taking it all at a pretty steady pace. And then all of a sudden. no prom, and uh, I didn't get another date. I just didn't go to my senior prom because I felt embarrassed to be dumped like right before the prom. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you all the truth. Your boy, your boy was acting a little crazy. Listen, this was my very first heartbreak. And so I wanted, I needed no, no answers. And so I would call and, and try to call and probably call too much, trying to seek an answer. Uh, this was pre-social media, so I couldn't really, um, they didn't pick up. You know, so you, there wasn't really too much you could do. Uh, now it's, it's a little scary. You know, you can text, you can follow, you can, you know, uh, internet stalk, all sorts of different crazy stuff. Um, and so, well, that's really why I want to bring this and talk about this today because somebody put a comment on one of my videos saying, look, you're, you've been hurt. Somebody broke your heart. And, uh, it took me back reading your comment back to that time where I was hurt and I didn't know what to do. So I want to offer some things that hopefully gives you a little bit of help, some suggestions, some tips as to what to do when Is broken. Well, number one, let it out. Let it out. I know. You cry. Cry. <laughs> let it go. Hey, maybe get yourself a pillow. Get yourself some, uh, whatever, some mood music and have yourself a cry session. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. And uh, sometimes just letting that out, letting that out is helpful. You're not weird because you do. No, you're heart has been broken. There's pain associated to that brokenness. And so, let, let it out so that it doesn't come out and manifest itself somewhere else. Okay? Number two. Get moving. That means 
you know, yeah, get your cry. Get your cry out, but then get up. Get up. I mean, get up and get, get moving again. Go hang out with some friends. Occupy that time that you had in that relationship with something else so that you're not stuck dwelling only on this person any longer. So get up, get moving, get active, get out. Number three, lean on your friends. Lean on your support system. Lean on family. Talk with others. <laughs> Listen, there were some times after a heartbreak I had to call mama. I had to call mama and tell mama, mama, Matter of fact, I think that's what the, uh, the video, that video that uh, I last did, and uh, he was calling Mama. I said, Mama, you was, you was right about her. You were right. And uh, anyway, sometimes we've cut off relationships with others. Well, your family, your friends, they'll be there. Pick back up, pick back up, pick it back up. Number four. Cut it off. Cut it off. What you mean cut it off? You know what I'm saying. Cut, cut off all contact. Yeah, hold on. Cut off all contact. Don't call her. Don't call him. Don't go to the spot you know they're gonna be at every Monday night. Don't go to the gym the hours you know they're gonna be at the gym. Stalk their Facebook page or their Instagram page or their any social media site page. Cut off the contact. If it's over, it's over. It hurts. Yep. But just know you can get past and get over it. Just know that you can. some bonbons there occasionally. I don't even know if they sell bonbons anymore, but but be careful. Be careful. Take care of yourself. And then Meditate. 
reflect, and remember. Some people, they like to journal. Others reflect, take time to meditate and think. No one challenge you in your writing and your thinking. How did I get to this spot? How did this relationship go south? How did it sour? Were there any things I could have done differently? Were there any missed opportunities? And in your journaling and in your time of reflection, you can start thinking and planning to do things different in the future, to even learn from, well, the mistakes of the past. So I challenge you. Like we did, uh, oh no, <laughs> number seven, lucky number seven, and finally, number seven, is it take time? There are some things that just take time to heal from. And uh, what do they say? Time heals all wounds. And uh, while at the time I remember feeling like the whole world was crashing in around me, I didn't have the answers. And I'm, I'm a person that likes answers. But sometimes you realize, hey, I don't, I'm not in control. You come to that realization and then you, you just decide to, to move. Move on. Move on with your life. You recognize your value. Recognize that your greatness isn't limited to who you're with, your partner, anyone else. It's, it's there within you. Recognize your greatness, your value, and live up to that. Yeah, it, it, it hurt. And uh, that first heartbreak was only one of many. But each one taught me something, and each one prepared me for the wonderful marriage I've had now for 23 years. And uh, if I could go back and do it over again, I wouldn't change a thing, because everything has led me to be exactly where I am right now. If you're going through it, you can get through it. It's gonna take a little time. Don't give up. Wake up optimistic each day. Continue to keep a smile on your face. Continue to stay and hold on to hope. Look to God as your source of strength and continue moving forward each day. I hope uh, I has said something, just one or two things that might have uh, encouraged, strengthened, helped. 